Angles on parallel lines. Uh, nice standard question, grade D question, parallel lines. Quite often you're asked to give your reason for getting the angle. Um, this is not drawn accurately, but this is clearly the same angle. With parallel lines, you only actually have, where your line crosses, you only actually have two different angles. Because these ones are all the same. And these ones are all the same. And the, the blue and the green always add up to 180. Where the angles are on the same position on both parallel lines, that's called corresponding angles. So we need to use that as our, our reason, corresponding angles. And the reason is they are equal. So this one is 65 degrees. The other ones you need to remember are alternate angles. Alternate are equal. Now the ones where the alternate angles are equal would be if I was looking at this angle and this angle, or I was looking at these two green angles, this one and this one, they would be alternate angles because they alternate from one side of the line that crosses the parallel lines to the other. And the, the other one is the interior angles. And they add a 280, so on the inside of the line crosses and the parallel line. So these two angles here would be interior angles, or these two would be interior angles. And they add up to 180.